Hello and welcome to Monica Stoker's podcast. My name is Monica and I am an English teacher. Si hablas español y quieres mejorar tu inglés, este es tu podcast. Episode 2. Cómo mejorar tu inglés, lo que de verdad funciona. And today I have a new student with me. He his name is Kike. He's from Valencia and he's going to be doing a class with me. We are going to talk about how to improve your level of English. No? How are you today? Hi, Monica. Hi. Uh, great. Uh, I have to tell you that it, this, this is a great idea to improve uh, English and uh, to help other people to, to, to take uh, the English to, to the next level. Great. And uh, my name is Kike, and as uh, as you uh, uh, said, I'm from Valencia, and I'm here in Madrid uh, working. Okay, that's great. And how long have you been in Madrid? Uh, uh, a little bit. I've arrived the 22th of April, so I'm I have been here uh, only one to only one month. So uh, I'm um, trying to adapt myself to the to the city. Okay, and tell us a little bit about um, your English background. Okay. <laughs> English okay. learning mm. process. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I was okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Tell me a little yeah. bit about that so I okay. I can get a picture of what you have been doing lately. Okay, English uh, have been have always been my weakness. And I've been uh, studying uh, maybe for four years or something like that. Uh, last summer, I passed the FCE, the first certificate in English, and uh, the, F the FCE, the first certificate. In English. Ah, the FCE. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I always say first certificate. That's first why certificate. Yeah, yeah. The first certificate. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. the FCE. Yes. FCE. And, and okay. from September to February. Yes. Uh, I uh, was in Prague uh, studying or doing a Erasmus mobility mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. all classes in English. So there uh, I had the opportunity to speak uh, with uh, people around over the world and uh, learning new cultures, uh, uh, exchanging uh, opinions and uh, in general uh, improving a little bit my, my level of English. So that's uh, uh, my, my background. Okay, great. The, I'm going to start the, showing you what mm -hmm. I do in my classes so that you can okay. use it also on your okay. own. Perfect. Uh, to try to improve the level of mm -hmm. intermediate student, which okay. is most students have the same mm -hmm. problems yes. because they yes. reach a level like intermediate, but then Yes. From then onwards, it's very difficult to it's improve. Hard, yes. It's like there is an obstacle, like mm -hmm. an invisible wall there, and, yes. and you don't yes. know how to attack it. Yes. And you say, well, what do I have to do? <laughs> what are the resources that I need? And you're very <laughs> confused. So <laughs> I've been working um, on these kind of problems for many years, and I've been teaching myself also how to, how to help people mm -hmm. try to overcome <clears throat> these problems no yes and one of the things there are two two things that are very important okay most uh -huh. people say i want to be more fluent okay? yes and yes. what does it mean what does it mean to be more fluent what do you think it means give me your opinion mm, for me it means that you can speak english without translating in your head from spanish to english okay uh, that's from, a good definition yes. Yes. How do you think you can achieve that? Uh, I think that it's very easy to say, but very hard to put in practice. It's all practice, 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 and I speak, I speak, I speak. I think that speaking almost every day with a native, spe native, native. English speaker native. or native. No native. native. Okay, thank you. Native, native English speakers or, or only with uh, people who has a uh, high level of English. People who have. Who have. Who have, people uh, is plural. Okay. 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 So people who have a high level of English can help you to, to speak in English without translating. Okay. So the, the, I think that's the key. That's that's true, completely true. But when you are talking about 
these goals, mm -hmm. what I notice here, and I've noticed in, I have been noticing this for a long time, mm -hmm. is that we often, when we don't know, we put very big goals, very, yes. not very defined goals, and that mm -hmm. frustrates us. Yes, because you say, okay, my goal is to be more fluent. I'll have to speak to natives. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you keep speaking and then you say, hey, well, I'm mm -hmm. not improving like I want to. It's, yes. I need more and more time. And it becomes very confusing sometimes and mm -hmm. demotivating. And this is yes. the worst. Yes. Because you're demotivated. You say, well, mo mostly the big issue with learning English is that it's easy to become demotivated because you don't see immediate rewards. Yes. The rewards are at a very long time and, and, and most people, many people get fooled by the idea of, you know, taking courses or doing things that are going to be like a miracle and after a couple of months they're going to be so much better. And in fact, it takes two about two years for one level. Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> and that's why at the end you add up and you you, you say intensive learning mm -hmm. for five years at least. Yes. And in many cases is 25 years and mm -hmm. without getting results because yes. you went and you studied with the wrong method. So And that could be frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating. Frustrating. Uh, pronunciation, frust, frustrating. not frustrating. Okay. No, frustrating. frustrating. Okay, so one of the things I noticed is that the, one of the main issues that people have to deal with is mm -hmm. verbs. Mm -hmm. The okay. verbs are the key here because for me, the, the problem of fluency, mm -hmm. one of the main obstacles is that you, have not, you don't have a good command of the English verb tenses. Yes. That's Most true. people don't because mm -hmm. they're, they because they learn basically because they learn them in the wrong way with just one list of a column of, of mm. verb tenses and, yes. and then reading them without listening to them and then you in your head you only have the the way you spell them yes. and you tend to remember the Spanish sound. Yes. So yes. when you have to speak and if you think about this, for example, if I say mm. to you in Spanish. Mm. Can't you get for me the verb venir? Mm -hmm. to, to Past, come. present. You would do it immediately. You yes. Know? Like, yes. Yo he venido, tú has venido, mm -hmm. um, hemos venido, mm -hmm. eh, ellos venido. vinieron, nosotros. Mm -hmm. You would do it like this? Yes. Right? Yes. Am yes, I yes, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Try to do the same with the verb can. Okay. I'm going to oh. challenge you. Okay. Uh, ellos no han venido. They haven't came here. Ah, you see? That's it? Yes. I'm going to do... Boop. No, they haven't that's not come. the right... <laughs> exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes. And why is that? Because the verb come, the, I put, yes. I intentionally, I use the verb come. Yes. Why did I use the verb come? Because come is very confusing. You yes. spell it in one way and you pronounce it in a completely different yes. way. Come, and, came, yeah. come. Yeah. Come, came, come. Okay, can you say that? Yes, come. came, came, ca no, ca come. came. No, 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 no. The first infinitive come, is come. Came, come, come, came, come. Came, came, come, came, came, come. So the infinitive or present is the same as the past participle. And that's the problem with this verb. Okay. You see, you have this pattern. Come, okay. came, come. Come, come came, came, come. come. So. Let's go back to the sentences. Every okay. time I say, and why do I start in Spanish? Because you're thinking, you're not living yes. in an English speaking yes. country. And mm -hmm. most people that are not living in an English speaking company and don't have English as a first language, mm -hmm. they think in Spanish and then they translate. So yes. I'm going to use the sentence first in Spanish. And I'm going to say, Ella aún no ha venido. She hasn't still come here. Okay, no, she hasn't come yet. Negative, come yet. She, yet, she hasn't end. come yet. Okay, the verb was okay. What wasn't okay is still and yet. Yes. What is the difference between, this is another problem. These are details about structures. Yes. First is, it's like we have the tree. We mm. are going to work 
on the trunk, building this trunk. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Because if you don't have the trunk, you cannot have the branches and the leaves. Yes. yes, the, yes. the branches are going to be more specific things. Mm. Uh, and the, the, then there's little things like prepositions, the, the, mm. the, the where do you place the order of the words, all these mm -hmm. kind of things. No? And okay. then you have a nice tree. Okay. Perfect. Now, if we're working on the, on the, or let's say even more than the trunk, the roots, the mm -hmm. roots are the verbs. Okay. So it's like everything, all the life of the tree is going to come from the verbs. And mm -hmm. these verbs, come, came, come, it's, it was okay. But the sentence is, she hasn't come yet. Okay. Yet, uh, the difference between yet and still, what is that difference? Mm, I think that yet is for negative sentences mm -hmm. and still for affirmatives and yet uh, the place of the location where you put yet is at the end of the sentence. Yeah, maybe, but there's maybe. a main difference that I, I think is going to help you understand <laughs> this. Mm -hmm. and, and it's very confusing because in Spanish we have ya and todavía and in English we have already, yet, still yes, and many true. other structures yes. that are very confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you distinguish that? One tip. A mm -hmm. Still means mm -hmm. always to continue doing something. Okay? okay. So you're okay. going to relate the word still to to continue. Okay? okay. For example, um, your girlfriend or your friend mm -hmm. of yours uh, yeah. calls you and says, um, when are you going to come home? Mm -hmm. And you say, sorry, I'm still at the office. Okay. So that means I continue to be at the office, right? Mm. Okay. Yet is used for uh, as todavía in a mm -hmm. negative statement or in a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, but in, in, in negative, the translation no is to continue, es todavía, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ella mm. todavía mm. No, ha, no ha venido. She hasn't mm. come yet. She hasn't come yet. yet. Okay. okay, that is a little okay. detail, okay? ¿ok? But it clarifies the mm -hmm. structure and you can speak more fluently, ¿ok? okay. So we're okay. building this up. Perfect. So in come. Ellos vinieron ayer. They came yesterday. ¿Cuándo viene ella? When uh, have when no, has no, she? No, 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 no. Sorry. ¿Cuándo viene ella? That, that, what kind of tense is that? ¿Cuándo viene ella? ¿Cuándo viene ella? Uh, present. Present. Yeah. Present. Okay. That when does when present does present? when does she come? When does the third person? When does she come? When does she come? Eh, Vendrás tú. Uh, will you come? Will you come? Yeah. Will you come? Yo no iría. Uh, I wouldn't. Oh, uh, yo no ven, sorry, yo no vendría porque es venir. Yo, yo no, no vendría. vendría. I, I wouldn't come. I wouldn't come. I wouldn't come. Ellos han venido pronto. They have came uh, earlier. Eh, or ki, 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 ki. They have come, come, uh, come, came, come. <laughs> exactly, come. Past parts. They have come earlier. Okay, okay. so Sorry. it's not yeah. only to know come, came, come, but it's also yes. to know it in the sentence. Yes, yes, yes. It's the only way to learn the sentence is to practice these structures. Mm -hmm. Back and yes. forth, back and forth. And okay. you start with few verbs. You, mm -hmm. you cannot go and say, I'm going to do 25 verbs today because you're going to do none. Yeah. You're, okay. What you have to do is take three verbs and work with them very hard until you get them right. So okay. you're going to get less and less mistakes. Okay. okay? So, um, ¿has venido tú? Uh, have you come? Uh, have you come? Ella no vino. She didn't uh, come. Ven. Uh, come. You, in, in English is ven is come, not go. Okay? Mm -hmm, so come. that's correct. That's okay. an imperative. Okay. A, okay, that's a, one more time. Ellos vinieron ayer. They came yesterday. Ellos no han venido todavía. They haven't uh, come uh, yet. Okay, another, another thing I'm going to take a sidetrack now, un, mm -hmm. una línea lateral. Mm -hmm. 
one of the things, there are two different things. We mainly you have to work with verbs and structures. Okay. This okay. is what I, I would do with students that want to improve their level. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, we work mainly with verbs first and then more specific structures, verb tenses, right? Okay. And this way, there are three verbs and all that. Then there's another thing you can do, and this is not so important, but it does have some relevance. And this is pronunciation. It is a very important thing psychologically because yes. if you have a good pronunciation, if you improve your pronunciation, when you speak, people immediately assume that you speak. And you have a high level of English. yes. That's number one. Yes. The numbers. The second thing is that you feel that you have more control of the language. Yes. And it is not as difficult as you might think. Mm -hmm. The problem is that there are certain sounds mm -hmm. in English, and I would say that there are about ten or fifteen sounds. Mm -hmm. that don't really exist in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And what the brain does is you just interpret them as you think they are, but they are not that sound because nobody told you that it wasn't that sound. A baby doesn't need to be told that there's a difference because a, day, a baby is able to get the different frequency of the sound. But when you grow older, the older you are, you know, the more difficult it becomes to to to, uh -huh. to find these different sounds. Okay, but uh -huh. if I now tell you the difference between the sounds, and you, I say to you, look, we are on this road, and now I'm going to start telling you there is a signal there, there is a sign there, there is another sign there. You're going to start noticing. I uh -huh. like to explain the things with metaphors. You're going to start noticing. At the beginning, you cannot use them. But mm -hmm. the first step is to notice that there's a difference. Okay. Some of these sounds are very, very important. So important that this, the, this is the reason why they can tell you Spanish. Because the moment you pronounce this sound, you make a sound that sounds Spanish to a native ear. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes. for example, uh, 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 one of these sounds is you just said it. Say that word for me, please. I... Said. No? Todavía. I wrote todavía in English. How do you say that? Ah, uh, todavía uh, yet. Okay. In English, there's a very clear difference between the Y, that sounds like a Spanish E. Mm -hmm. The sound is yet. 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 Not okay. what you're saying to my ears is yet. Yet. Avión. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's the J. Mm -hmm. So Y in English is E Española. Mm -hmm. So remember that. Y Yet. In, and this is going to affect everything. M many words like yes. examples. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, Yellow. You. Ya, young. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Many words have the same mm -hmm. structure and pattern. Okay. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, the moment you say, you switch the ch for an I, Spanish mm -hmm. I, you have improved already your accent. Okay. Okay, so remember that. I, mm -hmm. I'm telling you that there is a sign on this road, but you're at the beginning, you're going to say, okay, there's a sound, but I cannot reproduce it. Now okay. I'm going to ask you, please force yourself to reproduce this sound. So every time you speak, try to pronounce Yet. yet, not jet, because it's another word. Mm -hmm. Okay, the J, la J in English, sí que suena como una Y española. Mm -hmm. So we have other words, for example, in the case of jet, yet. un avión. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, there are not too many words though. Mm -hmm. Okay, that there are less words. I cannot think, for example, job. Job, yes. Job. I see que es una Y. Journey. Okay. Journey or? A journey. Journey. Journey is un viaje. <laughs> un, un viaje mm -hmm. un día. I mean, yes. Journey. Okay. Uh, in this case, yes, es Y, ¿vale? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But in the other case, so the first sound we're going to remove and replace for another sound. This is like a computer. It doesn't, it's, it, it's not like you're going to replace it immediately. I need to recode. It's like coding. It's como mm -hmm. programando, pero lo necesito volver a escribir. So first I delete it, I remove it, mm -hmm. but then I will have to write it again. Okay. And that is not in a brain that has been for 25 years saying yes, yet, or yeah. young. <laughs> It's, it's very difficult to do. So mm -hmm. you're going to continue making the same mistakes as until one moment you repeat it so much that it, it switches, okay? You repeat okay. and you repeat. So pronunciation is about learning a few words. It's not about becoming native. I don't have a native accent. I mm. can imitate a native accent to a certain degree, but my English is European English. It's a mixture of accents. Uh -huh. okay? okay, but what happens to me is that I practice so much because I've been listening and I've been studying English since I was mm -hmm. very young that I'm able to imitate more sounds that you can do, but you can do the same. Mm -hmm. You can do exactly the same. It's a thing of training. Okay. But the first thing is that you have to learn which sounds. So if mm -hmm. nobody corrects you and nobody tells you which sounds, you're lost. There are no yeah. signs on the road of what you should do at mm -hmm. every moment okay so again two things how do i do that okay how do i tell because there's another problem it's not only the accent it's the intonation intonation mm -hmm. is also quite difficult because you might say the the word right but mm -hmm. your intonation is still spanish mm -hmm. so the the way you go up and down with the language up okay. intonation is Nothing else than going up and down, up and down. and down, up and down. When do you go up? When do you go down? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do I do that? This is for you also to do on your own. Even if you have a high, because you're already B2 level mm -hmm. and you're going to C1 and, mm -hmm. and you, I think you could easily get to C1 level, mm -hmm. but you have to work a little bit. Yes. Um, I go to something like, Uh, voice of America. Well, in this mm -hmm. case, it's American accent. If you like a better uh, British accent, you, British. Can, you mm -hmm. can try another website. Okay. But I like Voice of America because it's extremely simple. Okay. okay? And so I pick one, uh, one article of a subject that you might like. Mm -hmm. Okay, something that, uh, I don't know. Can you tell me subjects that you like, or topics that you like? Uh, science and motivation science. Okay. or something Let me see like that. Science. Yes. Okay, very good. This one. Well, this is also about work, but mm -hmm. it also has to do with technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. In this okay. article, mm -hmm. we're going to do an example because you're going to feel much better the moment you start doing this. Can you go and check? Yes. The article. Okay. Yes. So what I'm... we do, you're going to if you click on the. It's very slow, but they start reading. Mm -hmm. They start reading this, uh, the, the article, right? Okay. okay. And what you do is you, it's called shadow reading. So, mm -hmm. como sombra. so once the, the person reads, you copy. Mm -hmm. So can you read the first paragraph? Yes. Uh, there have been many reports in re recent years that warn of future job losses as machines re replace human, humans in many industries. Okay, how I would read it, okay, mm -hmm. let's see. There have been many reports in recent years that warn of the future job losses as machines replace humans in many industries. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Now you have a little bit more, it's not perfect, my intonation is not perfect because mm -hmm. I'm not a news reader, okay? Mm -hmm. But I, I know that there's these ups and downs like a yes. song like you're imitating a song okay you you more or less i pick it up okay like a news reader okay uh, so what do i do i divide the sentence see in chunks so let's into chunks very good into chunks. <laughs> and then so you listen there have been many reports okay can you repeat that there have been many reports There have been many reports. There have been many reports. In recent years. In recent years. You see? 
You yes. picked it up there for years, mm -hmm. not years. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't told you that it was years, years. you would have said years. Mm -hmm. okay. At the beginning, yeah. you don't notice, but there is a difference. It's not the same mm -hmm. years than yes. years. Okay. <laughs> I exaggerated, yes. but actually, I think you understand what I mean. Yes, it's like more mel melodic. Or exactly. Like it's more, there have been many reports in recent years yeah, that, yeah. aquí tenemos una cosa. I like to, to, to tell you this, that it's a pity that I cannot see you because it's kind yes. of not working. Yes. That, that has a TH, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, okay. The TH has two sounds. Do you know those sounds? Mm -hmm. What are those sounds? That. Th that. 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 No. A ver, TH has one th sound that in phonetics yes. is a D. And D and... and th Exactly, como Z yes. española. Yes. Ok, the one with the D, que tiene un moñito arriba o mm -hmm. una cruz, yes. means that you have to put your tongue between your teeth. Ok. Poner la lengua entre los dientes, ok? Mm -hmm. So, that. That. Okay. You think that that doesn't make a difference because you cannot hear it well. Yes. But when you are speaking English, it makes a lot of difference. Okay. But a okay. lot, I can tell you. If okay. you say that. Can you say that? That. Those. Those. These. These. Or you can say, for example, uh, the. 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 Yeah, the man that was there. The man, okay. Sometimes it's the, the, the. Um, a little bit more like a na. Okay. Okay. Most people are not aware of that, but I say if, if in recent years, that word of, 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 Future job losses. Mm -hmm. okay. That that warn of future jobs losses. As as. Aquí another very important sound in English, and is it seems to you that is an s, but it's not an s. Is como el zumbido de una abeja. Z. As. Ah, okay. So you in phonetics you will see a z or z. Mm -hmm. So, this sound is very common in English, mm -hmm. and you will see it in words as is, is mm -hmm. was, is, does, oh. mm -hmm. okay? okay? And here we have it in, uh, where was it? As. As, okay. As machines replace humans in many industries. Machines replace humans in many industries. Okay. Once you have that, instead of just reading, because mm -hmm. there are two ways of reading, the active reading and passive reading. Mm -hmm. If you do active reading, what you're going to do is concentrate or focus on a specific paragraph only. And okay. Read again, read again, and copy the accent, copy the intonation, copy... Copy. Mm -hmm. This is how they tra train Filipinos. You know, mm -hmm. Filipinos speak perfect American English. Oh, really? One time I asked them, see, yes, yeah, some of them, not everybody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they have them working for call centers. Mm -hmm. Okay, they work from the Philippines, but they are they have an accent that is American because most people don't like to hear foreign accent when they want when, mm -hmm. when they call client service. And one time I, I asked one of them, what they, do they do? How did you get that accent? You never were in the United States. They learn at school. But not all of them can get rid of the accent. To get rid of. To get, mm -hmm. Do you understand to get rid of? Yes, it's like deshacerse. Yeah, very good. Phrase of verb. So mm -hmm. they cannot get rid of that. So what they do is they train them like I'm doing with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. You you pick one sentence and you uh -huh. repeat it and repeat it until you completely copy the intonation or you get as close as possible. Okay. Accent and intonation. Okay? And that is working on your motivation because once you do those things, you're going to be much better off and you're going to feel better every time you speak because you're going to start 
listening to yourself and you say, oh, it sounds more like a giddy. There's still more things I have to say about this. This is mm -hmm. not the, the only thing I mm -hmm. want to say. Okay. So uh, then let's go back to structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here, structure is uh, uh, verbs. We said verbs. Mm -hmm. And we said other details. Mm -hmm. And we start with the regular verbs. Verbs that are not so easy to remember. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm going to say fall. Fall. Okay. Can you conjugate fall for me? Fall. Fall. Fallen. Perfect. Okay. That's theory. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this theory, okay? Yeah, it's yeah, theoria. Yeah, yeah. Hasta que But no in practice, it. it's <laughs> a, <laughs> practice, a little okay. bit complicated. Uh, a ver. Eh, las hojas se han caído. Eh, hojas y seeds. Le no, leaves. De, leaves. de los árboles, ¿no? Ok, sí. leaves. Leaf. okay. Eh, li eh, leaves uh, have fallen. Ok. Ella se cayó. Eh, she fell. Ella no se ha caído. She hasn't... Uh, no, she, she... Yes, she hasn't fell. She, she hasn't fallen, sorry. Very good. She very soft, ok. Yes, no she, she, sino she, she hasn't fallen. She hasn't fallen. Um, yo me caí ayer. I fell yesterday. ¿Te has caído alguna vez? Have you fallen any time? Have you ever fallen? Have you ever fallen, And yes. And the question is true. with ever. Yes. Then there's another thing. Usually we would use a preposition. Fall in English is almost never f used only with fall. You fall down, you fall off. Basically, because the preposition is telling the direction of the movement. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for example, you fall off a tree or mm -hmm. you fall off uh, a horse. So mm -hmm. that means first horizontal and then vertical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay. There, is a, there is a movement or, uh, or you say fall down. Fall down. Yes. Okay. Fall down what? is when you're standing and you just... Fall down. Okay. So What is exactly the difference between if I say, for example, uh, I fall, uh, I fell yesterday, or uh, I fell down yesterday, to put the extra word down? I, I would say it's, it's much more accurate to say I fell down. You mm -hmm. would be understood anyway. Okay. But when you put the preposition, you're telling the listener exactly the direction. Mm -hmm. And that means that you give a better picture of what happened. Mm -hmm. Because okay. if you fall, it can be that you just fell off a tree, you uh, fell off a car. You, mm -hmm. But if you say you fall down, maybe you tripped. The, to trip is to... ¿Cómo se dice? Tropezar. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you tripped and that's mm -hmm. why you, you fell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... It gives better information about what happened. That's why we use the preposition. Mm -hmm. If you okay. say I fell, that's correct, but they wouldn't know exactly how you fell. Okay. okay. Now we mm -hmm. let's go to another one. Okay. Feel. Yo feel. no sentí eso. Uh, I didn't. I didn't feel that. Lo has sentido tú? Uh, have you felt? Have you felt it? No, uh, did you feel it? No, that's, that's past tense, oh, but you... I want a present yeah. perfect. Lo has uh, sentido ha, tú? Uh, have you felt it? No. Feel okay, that, the problem, I am using fall and feel because these two verbs, mm. you, everybody tends to confuse them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. So, because it's very similar pattern. Fall, felt. Have you felt fall, it? Or? Felt it. Have you felt uh, it? Have you, have you felt, felt it? it? Whenever we are doing this, Mm. Uh, Kike, whenever yes. we, you're doing this exercise, think about how you do it in Spanish. Think about that. People don't mm. realize that. Mm. You are constantly doing that in Spanish when you're speaking, but it's mm. unconscious. You don't even know the tense. That's mm. why you're confusing the past tense with the present tense, with the mm. present perfect, because in Spanish, you're not very aware of the tense you're using, yes. but you're using it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're not making mistakes with that. Yeah, that's true. And it's constantly, you're constantly doing that. ¿Has sentido eso? You're mm -hmm. not saying, has sentir eso, or has mm -hmm. sentí eso, no? The, you're not saying that. You're saying the right sentence. Yes. So, uh, 
the 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 more fluent you are, mm -hmm. the more you're able to do this kind okay. of gym. It's like a gym. It's mm -hmm. like an exercise. You know, it's como un mm -hmm. gimnasio, no? The, it's an exercise that you you force your brain to jump mm. to these different tenses without questioning it. And it's completely repetition, 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 repetition until it becomes you. It becomes part of you. It's mm -hmm. part of you. It's an extension of yourself. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, no he sentido eso. And remember that the pattern is feel, felt, felt. I haven't, I haven't felt it. I, I haven't I, felt I it. I haven't felt it. We, we make a, a connected speech, felt mm -hmm. with it. I felt. haven't felt it. Perfect. Okay. I haven't. ¿Lo has sentido tú? Have you felt it? Ella lo sintió. She felt it. ¿Lo sentiste tú? Have you felt it? No. 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 Uh, uh, did you feel? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Okay. You feel, feel, it? feel, felt, felt. Okay. Again, you go back to the pattern. Feel, felt, okay. felt. Okay. Yeah. Feel, felt, felt. But I okay. have to know when to use the pattern. Yes. Uh, did you feel it? And the reason I say it right is because I've heard it thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have heard it maybe 10 times and that's not enough. Yes. You that's need true. thousands. Mm -hmm. And that means listening, listening, listening yes. and repetition also. Okay? okay. So, of course, I don't want to demotivate you. It's mm -hmm. just that if, if you think about it in Spanish, you've done the same, exactly yeah. the same. Yes. The yes. only thing is that you were not aware because we are not normally aware of this because it's a natural process. Mm -hmm. Okay. You always are doing the same, mm -hmm. and you will be able to correct anybody who doesn't do it correctly, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Without even questioning yourself why. Yeah. Yes. You don't have any idea. You know that it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. yes. And so this, this this is the same kind of. Thing. I have to do another class now. Perfect. But mm -hmm. I want you to let's su summarize. We su before we say goodbye, we can okay. make another appointment another day when we can Perfect. continue. If you like it, I don't know if you like it. Yes, yes, sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, can you summarize for me mm -hmm. more or less what I said and what you got of this lesson? Because okay. when you summarize, when you go mm -hmm. over it, is when you learn it really. Okay. 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 So. Tell me. Okay. What? So, for example, you told us that mm -hmm. uh, when we are reading in English, mm -hmm. uh, we have to to try to to read uh, into chunks or divide divide the sentence into mm -hmm. chunks mm -hmm. and read them uh, in a melodic uh, tone. Uh, oh no! Copy. Try to copy the intonation. Yes. Yeah. Co to copy the intonation. For example, uh, we have different. Uh, Mm, pronunciation in some words like mm -hmm. that uh, uh, th for mm -hmm. example we have that with the d spanish d mm -hmm. and that with the theta with the theta spanish theta sounds uh, or, um, on the other hand we uh, we have to practice uh, with verbs because verbs is the key to speak fluency in english uh, we have for example to practice with uh, the verbs we are talking about here Uh, we were talking about here, fall, fell, fallen, feel, felt, felt, and uh, more or less that's... Uh, perfect, 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 yeah. perfect. There are little details. Mm -hmm. Well, the verbs are not details. The, 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 the verbs are the main mm -hmm. thing. They're the yes. most relevant aspect of the language. Yes. But the pronunciations, the pronunciation is just details. It's yes. not not so important because people still can understand you as long as it's similar. Yeah. Yes. But the better you pronounce, the better I you think feel. a good tool hmm? that I, I think a good tool to improve your English is the audio books because you can yeah, that's, listen I'm and read at the, the same, same time. I'm always saying the same. That's why there's this FITA course is based on, a, on an audio book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I usually work with these these Uh, greater readers are called uh, mm -hmm. these these small books with different levels. I, I usually work, especially with beginners, because the beginners are completely lost. Okay, mm -hmm. about yes. this the problem of intonation, accents, and all that. But you can do also with level six. I think it's level six or level even level seven. I'm not sure, but it's one of the highest level. Mm -hmm. and, and, and classic stories that you already know from Dracula or things, stories that everybody yes. knows. Yes. 
mm-hmm. that you, yes. you don't have to worry about the meaning of the story. You can concentrate on the structure and you can concentrate on the pronunciation. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. is what improves your English finally. Yes. So Kiki, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, and sir. I hope we can do another class and mm-hmm. we, we can make uh, a new appointment. Sure. And and well, we can talk. We we well, we can have um, the same kind of lesson or something different. Doesn't mm-hmm. really matter. I, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's just my intention is to add value to you and to other people that might be listening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank, you, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thank. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very. You. Thank you very. Thank you very much, Monica. Okay. Bye bye. Have bye, a nice bye. evening. Bye bye. Bye. You have been listening to Monica Stoker's podcast. Si quieres saber más sobre este podcast, por favor visita el blog para aprender inglés o el blog del inglés de Monica Stoker.